ladies right. and gentlemen, put your hands together for the Little Giants. Yes, Hillary Odor Band. Let's start with uh, having you guys introduce the band. Yeah. I'd have to introduce myself, do I? <laughs> this is this is Hillary Yo over here, by the way. Hillary, wave. Hi. This is Hillary Yo. She is the Little Giants. I'm Shahida, the backup vocals. Backup vocals, Shahida. I'm Evan, the bassist. Evan, the bassist. Evan, the bassist. <laughs> Evan, the bassist. I'm Sean, I play drums. Sean plays the drums. I am Daryl, I play keyboards. Daryl plays the keyboards. What is up, guys? How are you? How are you, how are you enjoying your baby's yeah. experience so far? Pretty good so far. I can hear Spheros over there. It sounds pretty good. Yeah, uh, Spheros. Oh my god, are you going to catch them now? But I'm here. It's okay. <laughs> so, Hillary, you used the name The Little Giants. I'm very curious why you have to use a moniker um, to put out your music under. I don't know. I, I guess I, I felt like I had to distance myself from like all the all the stuff in my music. <laughs> Why, what do you I mean? don't oh, put okay. my name to it. Uh, it's kind of you like... You don't put your name on your music? Uh, not, not, not that. It's just the association is kind of like a little bit close. Like close for comfort. Too close for comfort. So yeah. what are the subject matters that the little giant uh, covers? Um, everything. Um, sex, death, mostly. Marriage, love. Yeah, life. Life in general. Life in general. Just everything about life. So you mentioned before that you always wanted to be an artist, a visual artist, instead of becoming a musician. Yeah, that's, that was up in the past, though. Right. Yeah. So uh, what informed your transition from being a visual artist to becoming a musician? It sort of just happened. I didn't really plan it. So I was just up uploading covers, like doing it for fun. Like I uploaded um, that one song, like, can, like <coughs> and I. And like, I don't know, people really liked it. So that kind of happened. It kind of progressed from there. I didn't really plan to, though. I didn't really plan to like be here today or like do music or anything. But I mean, I'm not complaining. I, I like it. So you started out doing covers, like you mentioned, right? Mm -hmm. um, what made you want to take ownership of the music that you were putting out? Why did you want to put your own voice to the music? Um, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. We will give a really dumb answer, but it was fun. <laughs> I mean, that's basically it, isn't it? Like, it's just fun. I just did it. Yeah. So I, I'm looking at a bunch of questions that Daniel Peters wrote here. Uh, put my name on it. Who better than to <laughs> ask the questions than Daniel Peters himself? <laughs> what do you want to know about the little giant, Daniel? Okay, so you've mentioned before that you've always wanted to be an artist as opposed to being a musician. That, that was in the past, right? So. I just asked that question. Right. No, but then. I heard you play skills. So now, how do, you feel, how do you think you've been able to apply your skills as an artist for your music right now? Um, I think. Wow, that's quite deep. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but um, I guess just interpreting everything because what I learned at art school is that anything can be interpreted as anything mm -hmm. like, you know, like, like, I don't know, that plant could be something, could be commentary on right. like working class citizens or something. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I take it as music as not so much like something that technical, maybe, right. maybe something more conceptual. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like you know, like try to provoke, provoke some kind of thought through music. Right, Or like right, some kind yeah. of reaction, because that is what art is for, provocation. Of so have you gotten reaction so far to your music? Um, I think so, yeah. yeah. I think in Singapore, like generally... Is it, it, is it too polite for your taste? Sorry? Yeah, the reaction has been a bit too polite. No, no, I mean, no. I love it. I mean, whatever reaction that happens, I mean, I'm always glad when people tell me that they like it or hate it. I mean, I don't really mind. If, I mean that. I mean it just means that I got a reaction yeah. out of it, which and was that's most important. Yeah, thing, that's yeah. the point. Yeah, that's mm. the point of doing doing it anyway. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Cool. What question do you? Have? When you when you write music, do you start out thinking of uh, you know inciting a reaction in people, or is it something that just happens as you're writing the songs? I think it didn't start out that way, but I started writing things about. I wanted to write about things that you know make people think about life and how you are. You, your position in the world and you know just how I can relate to people that way because I felt very strong I feel very strongly about these things and like I just want people to to kind of listen and be like oh yeah yeah, yeah I kind of get it I can't get what she's saying yeah. so what I love about your music is that you put a very pleasant very happy <laughs> veil onto subject matters that are actually very dark and controversial um, tell us about You Got Some. Tell us what You Got Some is about. So You Got Some is a very chirpy, like, you know, it's a very happy song. Uh -huh. 
slightly like vaudevillian in a happy <laughs> sort of way. <laughs> but the song oh is God. really about. It's about. Was that at the like getting some and the law of diminishing <laughs> returns? <laughs> the law of diminishing returns. Oh yeah, the law of diminishing returns. So the more in you a, get in a sexual and romantic situation. Yes, correct. Yeah, so it's about sex basically. Like you know, um, you have too much of it. Maybe you know you might think that you're kind of a cool dude. I don't know. I don't think this applies to just men though. I mean, it could apply to women as well. Yeah. So just. Just the thought that, you know, we use sex to kind of replace a lot of all these other emotions that we feel that are lacking in ourselves. Right. And then we end up using sex to kind of fill that gap. And that in, in, in the end becomes something that makes you feel empty. You know, because it's just a temporary filler thingy. <laughs> First of all, I feel like... Gordon's about to have a heart attack. <laughs> Why? <laughs> hey, I'm just sitting down here enjoying myself, man. <laughs> they don't frame me for but, something but else. But second of all, I love, I love uh, the spin that you put on sex, which is a very tried and, you know, uh, like a, a well-trodden path in, in music. Um, did you feel like you needed to come at it with a fresh perspective? The, t the topic of sex and love. Uh, I don't think it's a very fresh perspective. I, mean well, I think it's, pr it's pretty, like the, the fact that you, you know, you wrote it in a very dark way, you approached it in a very dark way, as um. opposed to just talking about desire. I feel like, you, you know, you got some is a bit more complex than that. Hmm. Good question. Um. Could you repeat? <laughs> <laughs> You're like testing as like an exam, you know? Sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Like sorry. Like <laughs> <exam>. These are, <laughs> are really these my genuine curiosities that. about sex. Sorry, say again? No, never mind, forget it. We'll talk, <laughs> let's talk about something else. No, What's no, your favorite color? I want to talk about sex. Let's talk about <laughs> sex. <laughs> so songs are personal, yeah. and it's all about experience. Mm -hmm. What are some experiences that you would like to share with people? Experiences? Um, ooh. Would it be like the experiences in your songs? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, of course. I mean, most of my songs are loosely based on true events. Very loosely, I will say. But... I think, okay, I have one song I do, which is like basically what happened was <coughs> that, okay, that song is about wanting to get married, but not wanting to get married at the same time. So what happened was I was hearing that song, um, oh no, I do, I do, I do, 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 and I was just like, oh, this is, I can't, I can't, I can't hear any more of this. So I, did, I, I wrote this song actually to kind of rebut <laughs> that song, kind of so like a so resistance. What was, the, what was the first song about and how did you approach rebutting it? Oh, uh, the first song is about just wanting to get married, like being really like, yeah, let's do it. So buying into married. the fairy tale of marriage, yeah, basically. Yeah, right. but like, I mean, and also because, I mean, personal experience wise, my mom was kind of like always hounding me, like, you know, kind of get, get married and like. I feel you. Yeah, feel you. oh my gosh. <sighs> <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, so that's kind of where it came from. Yeah. So how do you feel about marriage? How do I feel about marriage? It's great if you do it for the right reasons. Yeah. What do your band members think about marriage? Wow. Well, yeah. What do you guys think about marriage? <laughs> Shall we ask the married men? Oh, there is a married guy. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, give it up for the married man. Woo! Uh, happily married. Yeah. No, I, I, like, yeah. I like being married. So, how is it? How yeah, how is it? It's, um, you know, it's, it's like, it's like, uh, it's good, I guess. Yeah. It's good, wait, yeah. wait, 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 yeah. is, is your wife here? Because if your wife is here, you're pressured to say yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, she just left, she just left. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Sean, how about you? Yeah, what about you, Sean? Yeah. How do you feel about marriage? I think it's cool. Yeah. I think it's pretty sweet. You know, you share, like, a special feeling with a significant someone. Yeah. Know? But nice. not anytime soon. She's here. Right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. His girlfriend is here, so yeah. Oh, Sean's girlfriend is here. Yeah, 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 she's yeah, saying yeah, right yeah. back. Did you know, did you know how we felt about marriage Sean's before this? No? Okay. Sean. Hi, Amber. <laughs> What's up, Amber? How are you? No pressure. You're just gonna say hi? <laughs> really? <laughs> tell her tell her that you love her. Profess you love her. Okay, I love you, Amber. Ew. Give it up for love, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Um, he's, he's, he's a keeper, Amber. He's a keeper, all right? He is all right, a keeper, okay. Yeah. So now we're going to go.